Okay, good morning or afternoon or evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for um, our discussion on Cowrie's cross-border payment services for Nigeria that are powered by Stellar. My name is Lisa Nestor. I am a senior strategist focused on our enterprise ecosystem at the Stellar Development Foundation. And it is my pleasure to be here with you all today. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, and we'll just kind of start with a quick overview of our agenda. I'm going to uh, provide a short introduction to Stellar. And then I will hand it over to uh, Bubemi from Calvary Systems to provide an overview of their products and customers and use cases to talk through some demos of their product NGNT. And then we will uh, go through some Q&A. Uh, please note that there is uh, a chat box on the left panel of your screen for Q&A. You can feel free to drop questions in there at any time during this presentation. And then we will make time at the end um, to go through as many questions as we can. So let's go ahead and get started. So first as an introduction, what is Stellar? So Stellar is a decentralized open network that is really designed to connect the world's financial infrastructure. It does this by allowing individuals and institutions connected to that existing financial infrastructure to transact on Stellar peer-to-peer -peer and seamlessly exchange value between all types of money and across any payment network. In short, Stellar is a global public blockchain built for interoperability and to further financial access and inclusion. Note that Stellar is free to access and near free to use so anyone can sit, submit transactions to the Stellar network. And Stellar is also open source so anyone can use or contribute to the code base. So let's talk a little bit more about how Stellar actually works. Asset issuance and exchange is really the backbone of the Stellar network. Stellar makes it easy to create, send, and trade digital representations of all forms of money, dollars, pesos, bitcoins, or even mobile money minutes, stocks, and bonds. These digital assets are created by issuers. Um, issuers are the counterparties to these digital assets. The assets are then traded within Stellar's universal decentralized exchange, and then the value of these assets is moved between the Stellar network and other external networks like SEPA or NIBS by what we call anchors. Anchors serve as the bridge between the Stellar network and the external networks. So let's take a look at what this looks like in a bit more detail. So to start with, we have the current state of the ledger um, at time n on our left side of the screen. And then we have the future updated version of the ledger on our right, that's ledger n plus one. And in between these ledger changes, which occur about every five seconds, we have transactions that are submitted to the Stellar network from individuals all over the world. These individuals are likely accessing the Stellar network through some mobile application or web platform that is integrated onto Stellar. So let's say, for example, one of these individuals wants to send a payment to a friend somewhere else in the world. Once they access their mobile application that's connected to the Stellar network, they will likely use an anchor service to move value into the Stellar network um, that will take the form of a digital asset uh, created by an issuer. That digital asset can then be traded for any other type of digital asset available in the Stellar network, and then a withdrawal can be executed again by an anchor service to now move that value outside of Stellar into another payment network, let's say a US bank account. 
It's important to note here that the sender and the receiver don't have to be connected to the same external banking infrastructure, and they don't have to be holding the same type of money. Stellar allows for that value to be moved across networks and between currencies. So to take a look at, again, some of the high-level features of Stellar, um, as a public blockchain, it is very fast. Transactions are confirmed in three to five seconds. Again, this is the time between ledger updates. Transacting on Stellar is also very low cost. Um, one Leuven can pay for about 100,000 transactions. So again, that's 100,000 payments from Europe to Nigeria. Asset issuance is uh, an exchange is really a primitive of the Stellar network. You do not need um, smart contracts or a complex code in order to uh, execute those, um, those things on the Stellar network. And because Stellar was really purpose-built for payments from the beginning, things like compliance are built into how the Stellar network works. So um, institutions are able to execute their KYC and AML procedures um, as they do today. And finally, Stellar has um, many developer tools and SDKs so that you can easily get started building on the network today. In summary, uh, Stellar is really focused on becoming a new global payment standard. We want to start the next evolution of money uh, by setting that standard and helping to uh, make money move around the world between various networks much more seamlessly uh, and, and for much lower cost. And Calry Systems is a great example of somebody who is doing this in the world today. So it is my pleasure to introduce Bubemi, the technical director of Calry Systems, um, who has uh, done an incredible job launching the Nigerian corridor on Stellar. So with that, I will hand it over to you, Bubemi. Okay, thank you, Lisa. Uh, thank you everyone for attending. Um, I'm technical director at Kauri, and Kauri is a fintech company based in Nigeria, and we issue the Nigerian Naira token on the Stellar network. Um, Kauri builds and operates uh, electronic payment systems in Nigeria. Uh, this is uh, why we are a fintech, and we are connected to the payments networks in Nigeria. The payment network in Nigeria is known as NIBS. NIBS is an acronym for the Nigerian Interbank Settlement Network. And it's basically the central switching system in Nigeria. So all the banks in Nigeria are connected to NIBS. All the ATM machines, point of sale terminals are all interconnected on the NIPS network. We as a FinTech and a, a payments company are also connected to the NIPS network and this allows us to build payment services in Nigeria that have access to all the bank accounts and um, all the payment infrastructure in Nigeria. Now, since we've discovered Stellar and started working on the Stellar network, we have connected the Stellar network to the Nigerian banking network in a nutshell. And the way we achieve that is by issuing our token, we call it NGNT, which is a fiat-backed digital asset pegged to Nigerian Naira. In a nutshell, NGNT is a digital version of Naira that exists on the Stellar network. Um, in, in addition to issuing the NGNT token on the Stellar network, we also provide services such as on and off ramp, which basically means you can convert from real Naira, real physical Naira, onto the digital version of Naira and back again. You can also convert from your digital and Naira, which is our NGNT, back to physical Naira. And all of this works through mostly bank accounts, but also ATM machines and um, things like that. 
So moving forward, the reason we chose Stella, um, as Lisa had mentioned, uh, Stella is very fast. Um, in the payment network here in Nigeria, it takes about one minute, 60 seconds for transactions to complete. And Stella is one of the very few blockchains which is faster than our interbank payment network here in Nigeria. So one of the first things that really attracted us to Stella was the speed. You have uh, between three to five second um, confirmation times, which makes for very fast transactions. And basically this was um, very suitable for our use case, what we were trying to do here in Nigeria. Uh, the transactions are very low cost, practically negligible. So it's almost free to transact on Stella. And that, you know, basically gives gave us a lot of flexibility. We could uh, do lots of micro transactions, you know, we could do lots of things. So the fact that it's low cost really uh, makes it very powerful and gives us a lot of flexibility. Um, the issuing tokenization model, like Lisa had mentioned, it's extremely easy to issue tokens on Stellar. Um, compared to something like Ethereum, which is very complex relatively, on Stellar, you can do it in one, two lines of code and it, because it's inbuilt into the Stellar network, it's, um, you have a very reduced complexity. You don't have, get into the kind of issues of, is, is my smart contract secure? Can it be hacked? All of that is um, not an issue. It's completely out of the way because it's an inherent part of the Stellar network itself. So it makes it very easy and uh, very flexible. Um, the decentralized exchange is one of the standout features for of the Stellar network. It really differentiates the Stellar blockchain from most of the other blockchains. And basically, this gives you a full-fledged exchange that is inbuilt into the network itself. This allows you to issue an asset and immediately it is available to trade globally, which is very, very powerful. Um, if you look at most other blockchains and digital type of assets, the fact that you have an asset doesn't mean you can trade it. You now have to rely on centralized exchanges in order to actually trade an exchange. But on the Stellar network, immediately you issue, your token is immediately tradable. And even the trading is as fast as the consensus of the network itself, which basically means your trades complete between in about five seconds, the same speed as making a payment. So this is one of the real, one of the standout features of Stellar Network for the fact that you can issue today and immediately your token is accessible globally. That's really, really powerful. Um, one of the other things we really like about Stella is you have a programmable transactions, program programmable money, essentially. And this gives you all kinds of capabilities, things like decentralized finance, loans, escrow, the list goes on and on. Um, it, we're really only scratching the surface of what's possible uh, in terms of programmable money on the Stellar network. And Stellar gives you a lot of the features, a lot of the primitives that allow you to achieve uh, these kinds of scenarios where you can program money. If you combine this with the other features of uh, the decentralized exchange and the issuing, then you can really create very powerful services and um, scenarios where you can code money, you can program money. And um, we really liked uh, that feature and was one of the reasons why we chose Stella. Uh, Stella also has 
uh, strong integration standards, which basically means if you're a financial institution or a wanted provider, somebody who is some fintech type service, you it really helps when you have a standard you can follow that gives you interoperability. You, you're sure that as long as you follow this standard, then your service is interoperable with any other financial institution that's part of a network or any other software service or wallet that's also part of a network. And this is uh, something that um, the Stellan uh, Foundation has put a lot of uh, effort in trying to define these standards and also make sure that anybody who is building on Stellar is making use of them such that you have interoperability. It's really important and that basically gives you the network effect. You, you know if you're a wallet builder and you build on Stellar, then your wallet software is compatible with all the other institutions who are part of the Stellar network. And Stellar is tailor-made tailor for payments, which if you're a financial institution, is basically your bread and butter. And compared to uh, other blockchain networks, for example, where there has maybe other use cases and payments might just be one of them, or they're trying to shoehorn a different model onto payments, Stellar from the beginning was designed specifically for payments. So if you are a payment company or you are a financial institution, Stellar is tailor-made for you, for your use case. And it's latest technology using the latest in cryptography, latest in blockchain. It really gives you what, what we at Carry believe is the next generation in terms of a financial network. So this is basically why we chose to use Stellar and we're very happy we did choose Stellar so far. All right, so our product is NGNT. This is our flagship product on the Stellar network and the what we think of as the basic building block of our services. NGNT stands for Nigeria Naira Token, and it is, in a nutshell, digital Naira. Digital money, but specifically digital Naira. It's a digital asset uh, issued on Stellar pegged one to one Nigerian Naira, which basically means one NGNT is equivalent to one Nigerian Naira. Uh, NGNT is seamlessly integrated into NIBS, the Nigerian banking network. And this basically means NGNT is, see, it works as part of the banking network, like in Nigeria. Like if you have NGNT, you can send it via the interbank network to any bank account and even uh, things like even ATM machines for cash uh, in the future. So the core feature of NGNT is uh, the deposit and withdrawal. And this is basically where you're converting from physical Naira to the digital version of Naira. Deposit is a process by which you start with Naira in your bank account and you convert it into NGNT onto the Stellar blockchain into your wallet. Uh, withdraw is the reverse process, which is you have the NGNT token and you can send it to any bank account. So you're converting from the digital version of uh, Naira back to the actual Naira in your bank account. Additionally, NGNT also features asset exchange, which basically, when you have NGNT, it's tradable for all of the other digital assets on the Stellar network. So this could be other fiat-based tokens, like a euro-based token or a dollar-based token, or it could be a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin or Stellar Lumens, or it could be even things like stocks, bonds, any kind of asset that has a digital representation on the Stellar network is exchangeable with NGNT 
via the standard decentralized exchange. Um, in addition to the asset exchange, the deposit and withdrawal, uh, we at Caru, we also ensure liquidity. Now, this basically means that there's enough NGNT available for trade, available for exchange. So if you happen to need to make payments into Nigeria, you have a source of obtaining NGNT, and which in effect is a, a source of obtaining Naira. And this is available globally. So anywhere you are in the world, you can access the Stellar Decentralized Exchange. You can obtain NGNT and use this to make payments into Nigeria. So our core product is NGNT, and this is the basis to all our services um, going all the way up to our cross-border payments services. A couple of our customers um, have examples of that. Uh, Tempo is a money transfer operator based in France. Um, they're, they're based in France, but their footprint is global. They do money transfer in and out of Europe, and they use our, our service to send payments from Europe to Nigeria. So essentially, it's a cross-border payment service where that originates in Europe, in euro and terminates in to nigeria into naira and they use our the ngnt platform and our carry services in order to achieve this uh, it's uh, because of the instant nature of the transactions tempo customers can send from europe to nigeria in an instant essentially you can do a transaction at a tempo location now and a minute later the destination in nigeria has money in his bank account another of our customers is called satoshi pay satoshi pay is a b2b payments company um, they make heavy use of the stellar network they have a service for micro payments um, they also have a payment for B2, business to business payments this this is very interesting because the low cost transactions on Stellar Network enable a situation where you can do micro payments. This would be payments that are less than a dollar even, even a couple of cents, all the way up to tens of thousands to hundred thousands of dollars or, or cents. And this basically shows you the flexibility that the Stellar Network enables. Satoshi Pay use us for their business to business payments. Um, they have customers who want to make business payments to Nigeria. They're transacting with uh, Nigerian companies, with Nigerian businesses, and they need to send them payments. And uh, Satoshi Pay uses the uh, service, the NGNT token, in order to achieve this. Uh, another of our clients is a company called CoinInvest. CoinInvest also make use of a stellar network and they are um, an online payment processor, merchant processor that uses cryptocurrency. So basically, if you're an online merchant or retailer in Nigeria, you can use CoinInvest to receive cryptocurrency payments. And the interesting thing about it is you can use CoinInvest to receive payments with cryptocurrency, but it is settled in Naira, it's settled in, in, into your bank account as actual fiat currency. So this basically opens up online merchants to a whole new payment uh, platform. It allows them to receive payments via cryptocurrencies globally. And they don't have to worry about things like the volatility of cryptocurrencies or go into the complexities of changing their cryptocurrency into fiat. Uh, using Coin, Coin, Coin Invest service, they, all of that is handled for them. They can quote their prices for their products in Naira and receive payment in cryptocurrency, but have their payments settled in Naira. So these are uh, a couple of our major customers who are using our services today. And we're, NGNT is also integrated into a number of Stellar wallets. Uh, when we say 
integrated. What we mean is the deposit and withdraw functionality, the on and off ramp functionality is available in all of these wallets. Um, Interstellar.exchange is a popular Stellar wallet. It's been around for quite some time, has a lot of advanced features. Lobster wallets is very popular, um, makes things uh, very easy. Uh, Stellar X is a trading platform. Uh, Demars is from South Africa uh, and they serve the South African market. And Solo Wallet is actually made by Satisi Pay. And these are basically examples of uh, wallets that all have the NGNT functionality. So on the next slide. Uh, the use cases for NGNT are basically cross-border payments. Uh, and digital asset exchange. Cross-border payments could be anybody who needs to send money to Nigeria or anybody in Nigeria who needs to send money out of Nigeria to somewhere else. So it could be an individual, it could be a business. Uh, developers, uh, if you're a developer of a fintech app that needs to hold balances, um, NGNT would be useful to you. If you're an online merchant, you, um, you want to sell your products globally, uh, if you're a Nigerian business, you need to make payments to foreign suppliers or your money transfer operator. All of these are use cases for NGNT. And on the digital asset exchange, anybody who needs to trade cryptocurrencies or other digital assets, stocks and bonds, these are all use cases for NGNT. Next slide. So, we will run through a quick demo. This is basically um, trying to show uh, the process of how a cross-border payment would work on Stellar. Uh, we're using the example of a payment that originates in Europe in Euro and good, eventually terminates in Naira. Um, yeah, so Satoshi Pay have uh, a very cool video about how their cross-border payment uh, platform works. Uh, it basically is an example of them sending a payment to Nigeria. Um, the link in this uh, video, the link on this on in this slide will basically uh, take you to YouTube where you can see this in action. And um, yeah, you can all see how this works uh, in this video. Uh, it's an example of an instant payment from Berlin, Germany to Lagos, Nigeria, that completes in about one minute, 60 seconds. And um, yeah, so anyone who's um, interested in getting in touch with us, this is our email address. Um, if you have business inquiries or any inquiry, inquiries you may have, uh, you want to find out more from us just send us an email at info at carry.exchange and uh, we'll basically um, get back to you. And on the next slide, uh, we also have our API documentation for the developers. It's hosted on GitHub and uh, you can go to our GitHub if you are a developer and uh, basically start using NGNT immediately. Uh, we have code samples and uh, descriptions on how to get started using NGNT from your code. Yeah, so we have a couple of screenshots here. This is the Interstellar wallet, and it basically is showing the swap function of Interstellar wallet. This is basically we're swapping between NGNT and EuroT. EuroT is a token on the Stellar network that represents euros. So this is a digital version of euros. And what we see in this screen here is the process where if you have some NGNT in, in your wallet, you can basically swap to EuroT. Uh, and this basically represents a currency swap. So if you need um, euros for whatever reason, you can actually swap from Naira to, to euros via these digital tokens, which is basically from NGNT to EuroT. And yeah, this is a quick example of what it looks like in, in Stellar Wallet. Um, this is also some more screenshots from Interstellar showing the deposit and the withdrawal process. On the left screen, uh, it basically shows a, a deposit that has been initiated. 
And it basically gives you, when you initiate a deposit, it basically gives you instructions on how to make a payment to Carrie's bank account. Uh, once that payment is made, um, our platform automatically detects the payment and instantly issues the corresponding amount of NGNT, uh, less a, a, a little transaction fee, and which also happens in about a minute. Uh, you can basically convert to NGNT in a minute. On the right screen, we have a reverse process, which is a withdrawal, where if you have a balance of NGNT, you can basically withdraw to your bank account. And this is basically what it looks like uh, in the Interstellar wallet. And the rest of the screens will be showing different ex examples of what that looks like in uh, different services. Um, now this is CoinInvest's um, interface for the merchant processing. And it basically shows the process where an online merchant can select the currency he wants to receive, including Naira. And uh, all of this is powered by um, NGNT and Kauri services. Um, on this screen, uh, you basically giving you the details of your withdrawal and um, the fact that Kauri are the ones who process it. Uh, on the next screen, it will basically show um, you uh, uh, an online merchant uh, inputting his bank account details uh, basically allowing him to select which bank account he wants to receive his uh, payments into. And it, basically, this shows um, the interoperability. Because of the standards that are defined by Stella, we have many different services that all work the same. Uh, we have many different types of services that allow you to either deposit or withdraw. And this is all enabled by the standards that uh, Stella has defined for these processes. Uh, on the next day, on the next slide, I think we still have some more. Uh, okay, so there's a, this is the lobster wallet that we're looking at. Um, you can see um, a couple of digital assets. You can see the Euro T, which represents Euro. You can see um, the dollar token and the Naira token. Um, what we're looking at now is the interface where you can actually trade with assets. So this is a trading interface where we're trading between uh, Euro T and NGNT. It allows you to select a particular price and basically initiate an exchange. Um, after you've exchanged from your Euro T um, to your, after you exchange from your Euro T to your NGNT, um, you would have an updated balance in NGNT is what we're looking at here. And from there, you can initiate a withdrawal. So on this screen, we're looking at the withdrawal process where we, that allows you to select your banking information, input your bank account, select your particular bank. Uh, on the next slide, um, it will show the confirmation process where it basically shows the fees that this transaction attracts and um, also shows you the bank account details. And once you confirm that, um, the transaction is sent and that basically sends out uh, the NGNT to your destination bank account, after which you would get a credit alert. This is an example of a credit alert from you get from your bank, from your Nigerian bank, showing you've actually received um, uh, payment into your bank account. And every time you withdraw NGNT, you would expect to receive a credit alert similar to this from your bank, basically notifying you that you have received funds into your bank account. So that's basically the deposit and withdrawal process and how it looks from different services. This, what we're looking at now is the deposit process on Stellar X, which is a trading interface for the Stellar network. It gives you um, trading tools, charts, things like that, and also is enabled for deposits and withdrawal for NGNT. So this is basically the deposit process we're looking at here. It allows you to select um, NGNT as a deposit token. Um, the, this screen will show you uh, the instructions you need to carry out. It's the same that is we saw in the Interstellar wallet and the Lobster wallet basically 
giving you the payment instructions you need to make in order to do a deposit. And once you go through this process, you will receive NGNT tokens into your wallet. And this is the trading interface for Stellar X. Uh, this is showing the trading screen for uh, Stellar Lumens and NGNT, and basically allows you to trade uh, Stellar Lumens and NGNT with a full trading interface. You have charts, you have your order book and your buy and sell interface. Uh, so this is geared towards uh, traders and this would be the same for uh, Stellar Lumens, Bitcoin, EuroT, stocks and bonds, all the assets that are available on the Stellar network. And then on the next slide, we basically have what the withdrawal process looks like uh, on Stellar X, where if you have an NGNT balance, you can specify your banking information, putting your bank account number, uh, select a bank. Um, once you go through that process, it would allow you to confirm your bank account. And once you do that, initiate a withdrawal, and that will basically send the NGNT to your bank account. So yeah, that is, uh, what with deposits and withdrawal looks like uh, on NGNT. We looked at examples of what it looks like in uh, multiples wallets and services. And this is basically the basic functionality that NGNT gives you. And yeah, this uh, is basically the end of our demonstration. And from now, uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can submit them in the Q&A panel and we'll see if we can answer some of them. Yes, thank you so much, Bubemi. Uh, we really appreciate that presentation. Mm -hmm. I have collected a couple questions from the chat box, which uh, I'll go ahead and share to you. Um, let's see if we can get maybe two or three of these questions answered. Um, a first one we have is, how big is the Calgary team and how many developers did you have uh, working on the NGNT integration? Okay, so we are a very tight team. We're very small and focused. In total, we had about three developers working on it. Um, but this is basically a function of Stellar. On it shows you how easy it is really to integrate with Stellar because of uh, excellent documentation. So we were able to achieve all of this with a very tight team. Basically, we had about three developers in total who worked on it. Uh, we did have a lot of experience already with the uh, payment system in Nigeria, but um, yeah, to get it on Stellar, it was uh, it was very smooth and it was just a, a three-man team, three-person team. Beautiful. Uh, next question is, um, for bank account deposits, can you um, talk more about any type of validations that you all conduct in terms of beneficiary name um, or the account number? Uh, maybe just share a bit more detail about the incoming and outgoing uh, flows and, and processing for that. Yeah, sure. So the payment network in Nigeria has a bank account validation as part of the service. Right, it's actually not possible to send money to a non-existent bank account. That is because the interbank payment network has um, account number validation as part of the service. So, if you send, uh, if you make a payment in, in Nigeria via a bank account, once you put in the bank account number and select a particular bank, the it will be validated by the by the NIBS network itself. So if you put in a wrong bank account number, number for example, your payment won't go through. If your whatever um, your banking, your online banking website or your online banking app will tell you that uh, this account number does not exist. So it's actually uh, a part of the banking network, the account number validation and it works on both deposits and withdrawals so if anyone is sending us a payment right they need to have input our bank account number correctly they need to have selected our actual bank and before the 
payment is confirmed, they will get uh, a pop-up showing our account name so they know for sure that they are paying us carry. And this works with any bank account payment. It also works on withdrawal when you're withdrawing NGNT. Once you put in a bank account number and select a bank, our platform will validate the account number and return the actual account owner name and show that to you in a pop-up so you know that you are paying the intended recipient. So validation is a core uh, function of the NIBS network and NGNT um, makes full use of account validation. If you in a number of the screens for the withdrawal, you may have noticed where an account, where a bank account name shows up, and this is uh, enabled by NIBS and also integrated into NGNT. Great, wonderful. Um, another question we have is: uh, How do you ensure liquidity for NGNT? Um, are there market makers uh, on the Stellar network? Um, or, or do you work with market makers? Yes, so we do work with uh, market makers um, who provide uh, liquidity. We also work with the SDF who also uh, help a lot in connecting us with market makers and also with liquidity providers. So yeah, the, the answer is yes. And then also our own, uh, we also provide liquidity to an extent by ourselves. And yeah, so we do work with market makers to, to provide the liquidity. Uh, different uh, market, uh, different uh, people are in interested in different kinds of assets. So some people might be interested in providing liquidity for cryptocurrency. Some people might be interested in providing liquidity for fiat. So we work with um, a number of them. Great, wonderful. And then um, the last question, and although there are um, some more questions that we haven't answered and you know, we'll try to follow up with those responses, um, as a payment gateway and Stellar, how do you see yourself making revenue? Um, you know, what are the different ways in which uh, Calvary can make money with NGNT? Yeah, so there are two main ways. The first is we have a transaction fees for uh, each process. So when, whenever anyone makes a deposit into NGNT, we have a small transaction fee. Uh, whenever somebody makes a withdrawal for NGNT, we have a small transaction fee. It is a flat fee, where, so um, it doesn't depend on the amount. It doesn't depend on the amount of the transaction. It's flat, and it also allows um, flexibility, like we can process a very small volume payment all the way to a very large volume payment. So there are transaction fees on the deposit process, there are transaction fees on the withdrawal process. The other way we make money is by market making and having a spread. So if we provide liquidity for NGNT and some other digital token, uh, let's say Bitcoin, for example, we will have a spread between the bid and the ask, which is basically, this is the market making model. So it's, uh, it's a form of arbitrage and we basically have a spread between uh, how much we buy Bitcoin or how much we sell Bitcoin or any other digital asset that we might happen to provide liquidity. Great, wonderful. Well, with that, I think we will end the webinar. Thank you so much, Bubemi. And to all of the attendees, we will be following up and sharing out this presentation. Um, so you will have access to the YouTube video link as well as the links to Calories API documentation. Um, and we will also do our best to uh, follow up with some of the questions we did not get a chance to answer um, over, over email as well. So thank you very much. Um, very exciting things. Uh, thank you to Bubemi for um, providing this overview. Um, and let's all work together to make money move around the world uh, better. Thank you so much.